Happy Fun Fold Friday, everyone. I am coming to you pre-recorded this week. I uh, am away for the weekend, but I still want to share with you a Fun Fold Friday. And this Fun Fold, um, I did not know what to call it. Uh, basically, when you open the card, there's a window on the inside. Usually the windows are on the outside of a card and you open it up. But this time the window's on the inside. So I'm calling it, very cleverly, the inside window card. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, by the way, my name is Christina Reese, and this is my channel, Creating with Christina. Every Friday morning, I do a fun fold card for you all. Y'all can follow along step by step. And then if you want a printable version of the uh, instructions, the tutorial, you can get that in the email that I send out in the afternoon. So uh, if you have not subscribed to my email, it's very easy. You go over to my blog, Creating with Christina, and there'll be a pop-up window. Um, when you're on a laptop, okay, the it'll pop up or it'll be on the right side in the right column. If you're on your phone, it'll be down at the bottom, okay? And it says, sign up for the newsletter, blah, 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 blah. Um, the newsletter is the same thing as my email list. So that's that. All right, let's get started. So Okay, here we are. This is uh, the card that we'll be making. As you can see, I'm featuring our Nests of Winter designer paper and stamp set. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful product that we have. Anyways, this is what I mean. When you open it up, there's a window. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Usually, like I said, now uh, you can see that it's you know, 3D like that. Uh, usually the, the windows are on the front of the card, but this time it's on the back. So it's not very complicated. Uh, there are some uh, measurements that you'll need to follow. But like I said, those are on the email that will be sent out later this afternoon. OK, let's get started. So first of all, you will need 12 inches. OK, so a 12 inch by five and a half inch sheet of paper. All right. 12 inches. And then you will need a scoring tool. And we are going to score this paper, and I'm using pool party here. We're going to score it at four inches, okay? Then at seven and a half inches. Then half an inch. And then 11 and a half. All right, so you're going to have all these different size sections of this card. Once you have it scored, then take your bone folder and burnish all the folds, okay? So let's get that bone folder out. And we are just going to fold that. And then what I mean by burnish is I press it down like that and then do the next fold and the next fold. And the last fold. All right, so now all of my folds are burnished. Okay, got that. Now you are going to need either a circle punch or a circle die. And I'm using the circle punch. It's the two and three quarter inch circle punch. Now, so you don't uh, lose where I am. Um, this half inch section is on the far right okay so i have it laid out with the half inch section on the right i am taking this three and a half inch section right here and i'm going to punch a hole in the center so i'm putting my punch so that it's centered whoops centered between the two score lines there i've pushed the paper back as far as it'll go and I'm going to pop this out. Now, this circle, save that for another project. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could have put a die in here. But I will tell you, if your die has um, special textures, like embossed or uh, different things on it, you're going to want to make sure that you're using this side of the cardstock, OK? Um, because this is a side that's going to show, all right? This is the inside of the card, uh, the inside of the window. This is going to make the window like that, all right? Okay, now that we have that done, um, we've got our, our hole there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some tear and tape. 
Um, you could use liquid glue, but uh, for the sake of this video, I am just using tear and tape. And I want to put it on this half inch section, but on the back. All right. So I'm putting it on the back. Go. Now, the other thing we're okay. So, one more time, the tape is on the back there. We have some designer paper. Now, this is the like I said, this is nests of winter, and this is the birch uh, tree trunks with some little birds all over. Um, you have, you cut two pieces. This will be for the front of the card. This is for the inside. It's a three and a quarter inch square. All right. And we are just going to adhere that. You're going to center it in uh, across from the circle. Okay. Because you're going to want to see this paper through the hole. All right. So I'm going to put this up here and I am going to center it right across from the hole. So when the card is closed, you can see the paper there. Now, if you wanted to make your paper go all the way to the bottom, you would cut it at five and a quarter. All right. But you won't see this part down here unless you cut your circle further down. If you use a die and you cut your circle down further, then you just want to make sure that your paper is can be seen when you have the the card closed. All right. I hope I'm not over explaining things. <laughs> oh, next, before we do anything, okay, I want you to, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to close this circle over the paper here and bump this half inch section up against this score line right there. Okay. And we need to decorate this part of the card. We're going to decorate this part before we seal it, before we uh, take this tape off. All right. So how I'm uh, going to do that is first I'm going to get a stamp out. And this stamp is thinking of you always. Also, there's um, some birds here. Is that right? Yeah, these birds. No, I'm sorry, not these birds. I'm sorry, I've got all these birds cut out. I forgot which one I was doing. This bird, this bird. I want this bird to come out because it'll, it kind of, forms the circle there. Yeah. And you could actually have it look like it's come. The tree is right there. Sorry. Okay. So we've got that, but then I want thinking of you down here. So I'm going to this up. Now I will not use dimensionals on my bird because this is the inside of the card. All right. And I don't want the thickness to be on the inside and I'm just going to carefully stamp that. Now, if you do mess up, stamping no big deal you would just cut some cardstock out and place it right there no biggie all right now let's put this on here but let's make sure we don't get the glue or whatever you're using up here because we don't want it to stick to this paper all right i'm going to be putting it right there so i only need some glue on the back of this pine this pine and this little bit of this tree here so i'm going to bring this down and get my glue bottle Okay, and just a little bit, not very much. Oh, can y'all see what I'm doing here? There we go. Okay, just a little bit. Not very much. Okay. And now I am just going to put that right. Whoops. Make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. You want your bird standing up straight. <laughs> Okay, now that I've got that on there, let that dry for just a sec. That there. All right, so that's the inside of our card so far. All right, um, you'll have two pieces of white cardstock that were cut out. One is at three and a quarter wide, and the other one is at three and three quarters wide. This is the front of the card. The larger is for the front. The skinnier one is for the inside. It's going to go right here, but so that I make sure I get it in the right place, I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off here. And of course, I need my take a pick tool to get that up. There we go. Now, this is flat. Okay, and this is just going to close right over on top. So one more time before we do this, the edge of this half inch is right against this score line right here. Okay, so 
So you just put that there, back there, and then just close your card. All right. And there we go. So that's the inside window. Cool, huh? All right. And this white is just going to go right here. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, if you wanted to stamp something on this, you I would advise to do it before you put it on the card. Because um, once the card is put together, it's kind of hard to, to write and do other things. See how it kind of bends that way? Doesn't doesn't lay very flat. Kind of flat. I mean, kind of a lumpy flat. <laughs> Is that such a word, lumpy flat? All right. Looks like I got some adhesive off right there. Uh, this little gummy eraser. If you all don't have one of the, I call it a gummy eraser. Some people call it adhesive eraser, but you just go around in a circle and it just picks the adhesive right up. Yep. Make sure, oops, I thought there was some more over here. You just want to be careful that you don't um, lift up the designer paper because you don't want it to bend. All right, good. And that's taken care of. All right, now let's decorate the front. So I have this white piece, but I want to emboss it. Have you all seen our new embossing folders? Oh my gosh, this one is the Birchwood 3D, okay? It's huge. <laughs> it's six inches wide and eight inches tall. You know, we've gotten into scrapbooking here at Stampin' Up! And so um, our embossing and our things are getting bigger, so they work on scrap paper. All right, I'm just going to put that in the middle there and then take it over to my stamp and emboss machine here. Um, you just need your regular plate, then your embossing folder. It's a 3D embossing folder. I've got the fold in the back there, and then you need the specialty plate. Okay, so when the, I'm using the brand new uh, Stampin' Up! Cut and Emboss machine. Um, I uh, had not got it at when it first came out, but then I decided I needed to because I wanted to show you all how awesome it is, but also, whoops, I'm on paper, so it's sliding. Uh, also, when you join Stampin' Up! right now, you can get this machine for $99 plus an, another $30, no, I'm sorry, another $55 in product and free shipping. So if you've had your eye on this cut and emboss machine, you might think about joining Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator and get it at a discount right now. All right, so there's my birch paper. Pretty awesome. Get back in my chair here <laughs> and get my card. And then I'm going to glue this down. And I definitely want to use glue here because I've got um, all kinds of uh, texture. And I just want to make sure this stays on there. All right. So once it's glued on, that's it. It's not coming off. It can wiggle a little bit before the glue sets. But once it sets, that's it. It'll You'll be tearing your cardstock if you try to tear that apart. <laughs> okay. All right, we've got that on there. Now, let's take this other piece of designer paper, okay? And this is cut at one and a half by four. And we're going to put a little glue on that. And we're going to put this over to the left so I have enough room for my circle and my bird. All right, so here is my circle die. I use Spotlight on Nature. Um, this is an awesome, this is one of those staples. You will use this forever. It not only has this set of circles, but it has a second set. And they alternate uh, lines and little florals and little hash marks on the embossing for the different sizes. So cool. Love this set. I use it all the time. All right, here we go. This is going to have my sentiment. So let's get my sentiment out. And I've used uh, sending thanks and much love. Here we go. I hope you all are enjoying this uh, tutorial today. I know you all love fun folds. I can tell by all the likes and all the shares. You guys are so awesome. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm not live with you today, but uh, you can still talk to me and I'll still respond. It'll just be a little later. That's all. Um, but yeah, there we go. Sending thanks and much love. 
and I'm going to glue this one on here. But I'm going to dry fit first, so I'm going to probably glue it right there. But before I do that, I want to get out my chickadee here. I'm going to put my chickadee up here. But he needed some berries, and this chickadee on the paper. Let me grab the paper real quick. There's the show you where I got this bird from. Okay, the designer paper. It's a 12 by 12 sheet, and you have to fussy cut these little guys out. And um, this one here got in the way of the sentiment. And so then, uh, anyways, I was just playing around. Then I realized I, I can just cut off extra branches and make sure that the branches aren't in the way of the sentiment. So <laughs> that's what I've got here. Um, but yeah, I've got sending much love, which will go right there. And then our little chickadee up on dimensionals. Let's see. Can I do it so I don't cover up that little bird? Yeah, so I could put that there and see how that looks kind of sparse there. Well, that's where I've got these other pieces of pine to fill in the, the space. All right, so if I put that there or I could put it further down, put it down here. Yeah, that kind of looks cute too. Yeah, so originally I had it right here but um, well, no, yeah, it's covering up that little bird. So um, yeah, we'll lift him up a wee bit. All right, let me get some glue on here. There we go. Okay, and just hold that for a sec. And now let's get um, some dimensionals. Ooh, I'm running down to the bottom of my pile here. Here we go. Oh, those are tiny ones. Here we go. Here's one that's got some left. And two, put one where the head is and one where the body is. And actually, I will need those little bitty ones. Where are they? Here we go. And where the the leaves are right here. There we go. That works. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we've got that on there. Then I've got these other branches. Okay, so let me get a dimensional on the back of this one. Come on, get over there. And we are going to tuck it under there. Let's see. Is that good? No, I don't like how it's covering the D up. Hold on. I may just have to cover that whole that whole leaf up. And if I cover the whole leaf up, then I don't need the dimensional on there. <laughs> yes. Each card is different because uh, each of these birds are different. So I, you never know where they're going to fall. But I don't want it. The whole idea was that I not cover up the words. So there we go. And then this one for sure can go up here. Yeah. And that one, I'm going to go ahead and glue it down, and then that way it's kind of got, um, it'll be behind the other branch. There we go. Love it. And we are finished with this week's Fun Fold Friday. So, sending thanks and much love, thinking of you always. And then there's um, this little window here, <laughs> this inside window. If you all can come up with a better name for this card, please let me know. Uh, inside window is all I could think of. At first, I called it the window box, but then it was like, no, a window box is a box outside a window that you put flowers in. So I thought, oh, no, that's too confusing. So anyways, you all are the best. See you on Monday night for Monday night stamping, and you all have a great weekend. Bye-bye.